I found it, finally. A solid good pair of martial arts shoes. If you've been looking for some yourself, stay tuned. Hopefully I can help you out as well. Hey, this is Dr. Nikolai Lee. If you're returning back to the channel, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out again. If this is your first time, welcome. Um, I talk about a lot of different things on this channel, you know, whether it's uh, different martial arts theories and how they work and why they work. Um, but lately I've also tried to do some reviews for you guys, uh, give you some real life experience on what you should spend your money on, where you should spend it, some good companies to use. Now, last time I did a review on a belt company um, that we absolutely love called Kataro, and I will be doing another review of them shortly. Um, so I hope you guys really appreciated that. Now there's a company that I've been looking at for a while and I was finally able to get something of theirs. I'm super excited about it. And I gotta be honest, it has been a journey. Um, I've had these particular shoes I'm gonna talk about for a while now and I've had to work with their customer service team and everything. Now, I know that sounds a little bit cryptic, so as we go, I'll explain what I mean, um, but I cannot tell you guys enough how good this company has been, truthfully. I've both worn these shoes for a while to break them in to see how they did over time. I've worked with customer service, and I cannot speak highly enough about them. Now, the company I'm talking about specifically is called Hayabusa. Now, Hayabusa is a really cool um, new-ish company. They've been around for a little while now, but they focus on um, primarily, it seems, boxing and then more of judo, jujitsu type thing. Now, I don't love low-cut martial arts shoes. Um, I've been looking for some higher ones for a while, more of like a mid, um, a mid-rise boot kind of situation. And the reason is I do hop keto and we take a lot of impact. Um, we also cross train, so we may be in the dojong and, and working out barefoot. We may also be on the street somewhere working out in shoes. So we like to cross train and make things different and mix it up, get different environments and that sort of thing. Also being a Korean art, we have to kick a lot. So whatever shoes I'm looking for need to be mobile and flexible. Now, a little bit of an Achilles heel here, pun intended. Um, I've had a lot of ankle injuries over my time training and I have found that a mid-rise boot works really, really well to both provide me support and flexibility, but there's not a whole lot out there. Um, I've searched for a while and I wasn't able to find much. Um, you know, you can find wrestling boots and that sort of thing um, that are thinner around the ankle so you don't have this bulk, but they usually run so small of size, I wasn't able to find any there. Um, now there are companies that make um, boxing boots. There's a, there's several other companies that make them, but I found that all of them were either too rigid or too much material around the ankle, which for a boxing boot, I kind of understand, right? It kind of makes sense. Um, and Hayabusa has created this boxing boot that I just had to tell you guys about. It's fantastic. So um, before we go any further, uh, let me show you their website. Okay, so here is Hayabusa's website, hayabusafight.com. They just updated their website, it looks great. And I just wanted to show you some quick products that they had. So they have several different tabs up here, anything from gloves, geese, um, headgear, fight shorts, there's your footwear, gym bags, just tons of stuff. And I've gotta be honest guys, the quality here has really been unparalleled in my opinion so far. So let's go to footwear. I wanna show you specifically the ones that I got. Now, I looked up some reviews or tried to find some reviews on these and I found a, a few, um, you know, but it, it's just not the same until you try them yourselves. You know, you can look at all the reviews you want in the world. Now, I was really interested in these because they're, they're mixed material, so we have mesh and leather and it's really looking for that durability but also looking for um, flexibility for the ability to move easily and move with me as I need to. 
So um, I had heard that these were wide and I have a wide foot. Um, it is always very difficult to find shoes for myself. Now, whenever I say wide, it's not in the forefoot. My width tends to be in the heel. Um, so even if I go to buy wide shoes, it still has a narrow heel that doesn't help me a whole lot. So I was like, you know, let's order these, let's try them out. So these are the, the boxing boots. Um, overall, very good price. They run $99, which is, you know, if you've seen any good pair of martial arts shoes, that's really nothing. I mean, you can buy, you know, cheaper ones for sure. Um, but for what I was looking for, it kind of hit right on the money. They do only come in whole sizes. Um, I normally wear a 10 and a half to a 10 in shoes. And I did choose to go with a 10. Um, I'm really glad I did. It fits perfectly. And I do have, you know, a fairly wide foot, like I said. So I have plenty of room in these. Um, my toes are not cramped. And the boot itself is quite flexible, which I liked. So let me just show you a couple of other views here. Really, really nice overall shoe. I like that they're not flashy. Um, they have, you know, their basic design here which i really really like but it's not a flashy boot necessarily now something else i do want to show you on the picture and i'll show you in uh on the actual model here in a minute as well is if you look right here um the sole almost comes up to the side of the foot and at first i wasn't sure if i would like that it does the same thing on the heel actually i wasn't really sure if i would like that um but once i got it and wore it i loved it it was so cool because whenever you're posting or, or about to kick and you have to rotate that bottom foot or any movements that you did, it just gave you that much more grip um, and stability. And I think stability is really the word there that I was really trying to hone in on. Um, you just have a very, very stable feeling. And I loved it. Now, something if you notice too with the sole, you don't have big, thick grooves. Um, it's almost like small little check cross patterns, right? That really helps to give you the perfect amount of grip, um, but still the perfect um, amount of movement. I was really impressed with that. It's not easy for me to, or it's not difficult for me to move around if I want to. Um, so that was really cool. They do come in four different color schemes. Because of our uniform colors, um, I did choose the black because it went with most things. Although I have to admit, the red is pretty cool. In our school, red is a master's color. Um, you know, these definitely stand out, that's for sure, but I don't know, they just, they look pretty sweet. And then we also have a white and black, which are also very good looking shoes. I very much like those and the blue. The blue is a beautiful color, but with the style of our martial art, it didn't really go with the uniforms as much. So I did go a little bit um, to the aesthetic appeal there, but, Honestly, all of these colors are great. Um, so you can go on and you can play around uh, with their website. There are several different pieces um, I'm hoping to try out from them. Uh, one pair, let me see if I can get to them here. If I can ever get my hands on these, I will definitely um, show you guys a review. There's they're just awesome. They remind me a lot of the uh, old Chuck Norris gloves whenever he used to make them, which you can't find anymore. Those were awesome gloves, but yep. So we're going to keep going on the shoes because this video is about shoes, but they're just, they have so many cool things, guys. I would really check out this company. Okay. So the original pair of these shoes that I got um, was actually a gift from my mother. Um, thank you, mom. And they were a Christmas gift. I wanted them really, really badly. And she was like, Hey, you know, let me get you something that you'll actually, you know, could use. And my shoes I had literally had holes down the side of them. I wore them so long. They were old pair of Pumas and they worked great. Um, for martial arts, you know, we, we like more of a thin sole. So they were just, they were the perfect setup. Um, but they had definitely done their time. <laughs> it was definitely over. So, um, so we ordered these shoes, super pumped, got them out of the box and Long story short, they did have a defect. Um, it wasn't great uh, where the, I'm sure you could see on the video earlier, where the, the pull tab is on the back of the shoe to help you put it on and off. Um, that was actually torn where the leather connects to the emblem there. So I wasn't thrilled. 
Um, but I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and try them on. Let me see how they feel. Uh, that way I know if I want to go ahead and reorder them and, um, you know, just kind of see how that whole thing went a little bit. And they felt awesome. Um, so cool. Uh, the insole in them is just fantastic. Okay, so I'll show you guys that here in a little bit, but it actually has full arch support, but plenty of give. Um, probably the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn, period. Whether you're talking about all shoes versus martial arts shoes, I would literally wear these on the street if I wouldn't wear them out too quickly. <laughs> like they were just, they were awesome. Um, so I was really, really impressed. What I was even more impressed with though, was their customer service. You know, companies don't have to do a lot of things that they might do, but it does change um, how much they retain that customer, for sure. I've worked with some martial arts companies that were just like, not my circus, not my monkeys. That's your problem, you know? And that's unfortunate because I'm a, a pretty diehard fan. If I believe in your product, I'm gonna hold on. Um, so I emailed them, uh, got a hold of them through their website, and it was just fantastic, guys. It really was. Um, super fast response. They didn't email me on Christmas because um, they also have Christmas too, but we're talking within a day or two. They were on it. Um, really, really fast response. It was great. You know, they were like, hey, we're going to send you a new pair. And I'm like, wow, that's that's really, really cool. Most stores, if, if you wear the shoes, you can't take them back, right, if they have marks on them. Whenever I told them that, whenever I said, hey, you know, there's a tear, they wanted a video or pictures so they could have a reference point. And she's like, we're gonna send you a new pair. So I asked her, you know, what about the old ones? And she said, you can just send them back with the new box um, that we send you, uh, we'll take care of it. And you can also wear the shoes in the meantime. I was like, what? Yeah, she's like, yeah, just go ahead and wear the shoes. Um, we'll still take them back, no problem, no extra charge, no nothing. And I gotta be honest, I was staggered. I was supposed to be receiving my new set of shoes in January. So January comes around and I still haven't heard back, um, which I thought to be a little strange. And I emailed her and she said, yes. Um, she said, I actually had you on my list. I'm still waiting on them to come in stock. I was told they would be here mid-January and they're still not here. Okay, that's fine. For me, it's, it's about communication. So as long as I know what's happening, I'm good. She emailed me back and said, hey, it's gonna be longer than we thought. Um, I really apologize. Please continue to wear the shoes and we'll send you a new pair. So a few weeks later, she messages me, hey, here's your tracking number. We sent you a new pair of shoes. Whoa, like that is not how customer service works. First of all, she followed up with me on her own accord. Second of all, they let me wear the shoes that were uh, messed up, you know, and didn't get angry about wearing them at all. I was just, I was blown away. Um, this company definitely has my business uh, from here on out. Between their quality of the shoe, between um, the quality of the customer service, it was just fantastic. So enough of me talking, um, let's get to the shoes, which you guys really came here for. Okay, let's get to it. Da -da -da -da. Pretty cool packaging. They got their logo, Hayabusa. Love it. Okay. Lovely piece of paper. What do we have here? Looks like our invoice. Exchange, cool, nice, love it. Here we go. Now these were not, it's a box within a box, so it doesn't gracefully come out necessarily. <laughs> Pretty sweet. They do have a little slip in here concerning their return policy. I've already kind of explained this to you guys. Um, really, really good returns though. Oh, there's another piece of tape. Wait for it. All right. Da -da -da. Yes. 
Solid. Solid, solid. Very nice. What is that? Oh. Oh, that's just the packing. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Because you guys did not come here to see a box. Nice. Very, very nice. So this shoe, fresh out of the box, fits like a glove. It is just so cool. I love how there's both mesh and leather. There's that continuous sole that I was telling you about that comes up on the side. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I do want to show you the original location for the mistake. So here's the new pair. These are the old pair, okay? Now, they've held up really, really well. Mistake was actually on the right shoe. So if you see right here, it tore off from the emblem. Now, the reason I wanted to show you guys this, whenever I asked her what to do with the old shoes, uh, she asked for them back, which makes sense, um, but she wanted to send these to the R&D department to figure out why this happened for potential future models on things that they may have to change to make them better. So I thought that was really cool. Like not only is she listening to her customer, but she's also actually listening to what I have to say in the feedback. Super cool. Let's show you the sole real quick. So it comes out very, very easily. So here's the sole. I absolutely love these. This is so cool. Um, and I think the reason I like it is because it actually has arch support, which does not happen in martial arts shoes. It, it just doesn't. It's just not something that is typical. Also, it has a heel pad that actually is plush. So whenever you're using them, like you should be, um, you're not taking a lot of impact on the heels, which I loved. I love the width here in the forefoot and also the width in the heel. And I have to tell you as a chiropractor, um, that is such a cool and rare feature. Um, you know, narrow shoes, contrary to popular belief, do not help your footwork. They actually limit it because it decreases the amount that the forefoot can flatten. Um, whenever you walk and you should have an arch, your arch is shaped like this and it should lower and come back up, that's normal. And whenever you can't flatten out your forefoot, it stays in that position. It doesn't fully go down. So that can cause a lot of potential issues with plantar fasciitis, as well as the opposite, you know, a fully dropped arch as well. Both of those things can kind of cause an issue there. Um, but these shoes, guys, I just, I cannot tell you how excited I am. So give me just a minute. I'm gonna throw them on um, so you can see what they look like on, okay? And we will get going. Okay, guys, here we go. So this is them on. Absolutely love it. They are so springy yet comfortable. Um, they will need some breaking in a little bit, but they're also instantly comfortable. Uh, like I said, I'm normally a 10 and a half. These are a 10. My toe is right here, almost at the very end. The width is perfect here and here. I wore them intentionally without my gi pants or throwback pants, whichever way you want to term it, but I wore it intentionally without it just so you could see what they're like on. Really good reflex. Um, it is, they're really flexible. Absolutely love it. Kicking a little bit low so you guys can see it, okay? But I just absolutely love them, guys. They are so comfortable. Hi, Lusa. Also, I'm really white right now. Believe it or not, Florida does have winter time. That is the thing. <laughs> so, 
But yeah, guys, awesome, awesome shoes. All right, so I did want to show you guys just one more small thing about these shoes. The ones here on the right are the um, older shoes. The ones here on the left are the newer ones. So these on the right have had about two months of wear. The ones on the left literally just opened them out of the box. And I want to show you, there is not much difference in these shoes at all. I have not cleaned the old ones. I haven't done anything to them. They've been worn. And every time I've trained them, it's been pretty hardcore training. These have really stood up to two months of intense testing. Now, I haven't worn them for years and years, so we will see how they hold up in the long run. But as of right now, 100% stamp of approval. Absolutely love these shoes. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope it was helpful. Um, these Hayabusa boxing boots are just awesome, and I can't speak enough about them. They're just great, great boots. Definitely worth the money, definitely worth the time. Um, they will definitely keep my business as well in the future. These, The company, the material that they use, everything is awesome. So if you want to watch my other review on Kataro, who makes custom belts, please visit this video right here. Um, I think you'll like it. Uh, I will be doing a follow-up video on them as well. Still waiting on some embroidery to come back, which is supposed to come back today, actually. So I'm very excited about that. Um, if you guys have any other companies or would like me to do any other product reviews or would like to send me things, I actually really enjoy doing this. I like finding, um, you know, different products and stuff that we can use as martial artists. I feel like there's not a whole lot of people catering to this. And you guys have questions. Um, a lot of you have been commenting, asking me different things. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? And I really appreciate your comments. Um, I absolutely just love it. It's the reason that I do this. And if there's anything you'd like me to test out or like to send to me, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to test it and do a review on it. Um, this is fully unpaid. I'm literally doing this just because I want to, because I've had these questions, which means you've also had these questions. If there's any other videos that you'd like to see or any thoughts or ideas about a future video you have, please comment with that as well. Thank you so much to all of my friends around the world who have taken their time to watch this and have a wonderful day.